Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and this video here I'm going to go over the Matron Hive West which is a level 90 plus Ulthoi Hive located in Oozes which is on the Garudian side of the town network. Now uh, this Matron Hive is used in a few different quests and is a great place for players of all levels to make money and uh, for players just a, a bit above level 90 to make some decent experience too. A lot of people, like I said, of all levels come to this hive and farm here. What they do is they run around in this hive and they salvage every single item that drops. They have V-Tank pretty much just loot it all and salvage everything. And uh, after they're done farming here, they uh, take all of that salvage and use Selvage, which is, which is an add-on or rather plug-in that lets you vendor pretty much all of your salvage at once with like just a simple click and it buys MMDs whenever uh, you need them. It vendors all of your salvage and then uh, buys MMDs for you and people just pretty much go through here and rinse and repeat that over and over and over and make a couple hundred MMDs a day by running through this hive. Um, at least that's what I've been told by multiple people. I've never done it myself. Um, so I can't confirm that uh, quota daily quota I guess you could say myself now uh, from being in here a few different times I can definitely say though this place is amazing money and amazing experience from hunting in here now uh, there's going to be tons of items you can salvage in here I particularly only come through here and salvage what's good and what's worth salvaging and uh, pretty much it, this hive is similar to all other Ulthoi hives that I go through when it comes time to salvaging I get tons of items that I'm actually able to salvage and use from uh, going through here. You know, steel, mahogany, stuff like that. I pretty much uh, all of the salvage food groups are represented, uh, in, so to speak, from hunting here. And uh, this is also a great, great place for players to gather rank 7 spells. You know, say you're just, you know, you're just starting to uh, get be able to buff yourself with rank sevens you're just starting to be able to cast sevens and you're looking to collect all of your spells this is definitely a great place to come to collect the spells that you need to uh you know fully buff yourself and uh even cast sevens if you're a mage looking to cast sevens and stuff like that um now much like all the other Ulthoi hives and um pretty much all the Ulthoi dungeons in particular you're going to want to make sure you have high melee D in order uh, to survive hunting here. Because if you don't have high melee D, the Ulthoys are pretty much just going to wipe the floor with you. Um, they hit very, very hard um, to players that don't have high melee defense. And not only do they hit hard, but there's like 20 Ulthoys on you at one time. So they're just going to really uh, just beat the living piss out of you and kill you extremely fast if you're not prepared for hunting here. It's a... Uh, Highly recommended that you are prepared for when you come here and you start hunting. Um, I would recommend melee D above, uh, let me see, probably right around 470 buffed, I'd say. Um, maybe above 450 buffed and you might still be fine. Um, if you're a one-hander or you have like finesse weapons, heavy weapons, light weapons, maybe use a shield. And uh, definitely make sure you're well stocked on healing kits and ways to replenish your stamina as melee. As a mage, make sure you're well stocked on tapers. And uh, if you if it's your first time coming here and you're, say, like in between level 100 to 110, that is a pretty low level for actually being able to hunt here. So I'd recommend uh, having an escape route planned. You know, have definitely have like a you know, primary portal recall, secondary portal recall. Have something that can get you out of here and to safety quickly because uh stuff can really go uh badly in here very quickly uh, so it's it's very important you have a pretty much a bail technique just something to get out as soon as possible and as quickly as possible with your ass still intact that's definitely the most important thing for coming here your very first time you want to be able to get out and survive if things go awry um until you get used to the dungeon then you know you can set up your usual tactics throughout here you can plan out a route with v-tank v and then you know run through the whole entire dungeon and stuff like that so uh the main tip i can give you besides raising your melee d to pretty much whatever is the highest possibility it can be raised to is uh 
Be sure to buff your armor against acid and piercing as well as other physical uh, vulns. You know, sometimes the Ulthoids will blood you, sometimes they'll pierce you, sometimes they'll slash you. Make sure you have all of your bases covered when it comes to hunting here. You don't want to, you know, not buff yourself uh, in, in like say, uh, you know, piercing or whatever and then they pierce you or uh, not buff slashing and then they slash you. Just have all of your bases covered here and you'll do just fine when it comes to uh, surviving here. That is, you know, if your melee D is high enough and you can handle it in the first place. If not, it's going to be a completely different story, pretty much. So, uh, the Ulthoys here are vulnerable to bludgeon, as well as all other Ulthoys throughout the entire game. So, it's strong, it's highly recommended you bring a bludgeon, a bludgeon weapon with you here to uh, kill the Ulthoys. And if you don't have a bludgeon weapon, a pierce rend weapon works similarly well against the Ulthoys. Uh, if you don't have either of these, I'd highly recommend as like a melee, try bringing like armor rendering or uh, maybe crit strike or something like that. Uh, crit crippling blow. Definitely have an imbued weapon of some kind. And or if you don't have an imbued weapon, uh, using a weapon with a, excuse me, using a weapon with a Ulthoi Slayer would be the next best thing you can possibly do. Ulthoi Slayer will help you do more damage against the Ulthoi and probably be better than even using a, uh, an imbued weapon when it came time to hunting here. So uh, keeping those few things in mind, those are definite musts for uh, hunting here. Uh, and also this location is a great place to farm Red Garnet, Black Garnet, and uh, Jet, as well as you know other stuff like Aquamarine, uh, pretty much all salvages. You're going to get a ton of salvages here. Um, literally tons. Uh, your inventory will be filled in just a few hours from hunting here, depending on you know how much you're actually picking up and uh, you plan on salvaging in the first place. Depending on uh, what your loot profile is set at, if you use the loot profile, um, will determine how fast your inventory fills up from actually hunting here. I strongly, strongly recommend you set it to salvage items that you get from here because you will get a lot of like steel, mahogany, brass, uh, you know, all of the imbues and stuff like that. And you're also going to get high worksmanship stuff from here. So keeping that in mind, definitely keep an eye out for all of this stuff and, uh, and all of the salvages that you can get and can use. And, uh, that's pretty much all there is to this farming location. Uh, you'll be making a about, I'd say, 45 million an hour from hunting here, depending on if you're able to get into a fellow, how fast you'll kill, and all of that stuff. But uh, that that's kind of like a low ball number. If you can actually get into a fellow here, which there are fellows running throughout these Ulfoys quite often, you'll be able to make a lot more experience than that, probably pushing like 90 million an hour. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind and uh, keep an eye out for a fellow. There's depending on what server you are and the server's population, um, you know you might be able to get. There might be a lot of people here. There might not be a lot of people here. That's for you to you know figure out and then for you to go off of what you figured out from uh, coming here and stuff like that. So aside from that, really nothing else I can think about saying. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, as always, like, comment, and subscribe to me for future gaming and Asheron's Call videos. And uh, as always, guys, good luck and happy hunting. I'll see you guys around in the next video.